Hey, Red here. Today, it's another retrospective. On the last one, I covered a cool supernatural episode of Love, Death, and Robots. So I thought I'd do another. Let's get into it. Quiet Red Media. Shh. So, like I said, I'm diving into another LDNR episode. This time, it's Volume 1, Episode 10, titled Shapeshifters. This was a nice little diamond in the rough, so to speak, as I'm a big fan of werewolf stuff, and I'm always giddy to find more. <clears throat> this is me giddy. <laughs> did, did, you, did you catch it? <clears throat> this episode, based on a short story by Marco Clus, deals with the premise of dog soldiers. In it, Decker and Sobieski, two American lycanthrope marines based in Afghanistan, come upon a threat much like themselves. It's pretty cool. The lycans are sort of treated with disdain by the human soldiers, and mainly used to sniff out threats such as IEDs, enemy combatants, and the like. Their supernatural abilities making them like threat detectors for the military. It sets up the dynamic between the lycan soldiers and the humans with a nice little scene where we see how the humans find them unnatural and use the term dog soldier as a sort of slur. I'm not sure how much the original short story goes into this dynamic and why it is the way it is, but this small scene is a cool little bit of world building that adds a bit of flavor and doesn't take too much to do it. These liking guys are outcasts among their own and we can see that they formed a close bond with each other in lieu of that fact. I mean, if I could be besties with a werewolf, I think I'd definitely give it a shot. Gary! You want to go behind the house and, and see if that coyote will bite you again? I know, I know it didn't work last time, but you, you ran too soon. Alright, just let it get a good hold this time. Gary! The lichens are strong and fast. They heal quickly and they have tremendous stamina. Decker taunts the sergeant with these facts, calling out the fact that they have to use technology to compensate is more unnatural than anything about him. Sobieski, the other lichen, gets sent out with another squad, but when Decker notices that combat is taking place, he goes ahead of the others to help. When he arrives, he finds the men have been brutalized by something savage. They're all dead and mangled, Sobieski among them. Obviously, this pisses Decker off, but he states that he's got the killer scent now. While out on patrol, Decker catches the scent off an old blind man, but doesn't tell his superiors. Turns out, he'd rather handle this personally. That little smirk the old man gives him is great. Just a silent, if you do something, I love it. So, Decker sneaks out of camp in the night and follows the scent to find the killer. He finds the old man who taunts him with Sobieski's tags. We get a pretty sweet werewolf transformation and a badass wolf fight ensues. Turns out the old man has an accomplice and the two team up on Decker. This fight is brutal as hell and I think it's choreographed pretty well. I thought it was an entertaining beast fight. Plus the final move that Decker puts on the old wolf is gnarly. Just crushing his head with his jaws. Noise. So Decker gets revenge for Sobieski's death in brutal and satisfying fashion. He shows up to camp looking a little worse for wear, but in the very next scene we can see just how effective his supernatural healing is, as he's barely even got scratches anymore. As Decker takes the scent off Sobieski's body, his superior chastises him for being an animal. And Decker rips off his tags and says, I may be an animal, but I'm done wearing your leash. Not a bad line, honestly. Decker then takes Sobieski's body and leaves the base. He buries his friend, and the episode ends there. I have to say, I, I really like this episode. If you haven't noticed, it's all done with CGI, and I actually like it. The animation's well done, it's nicely detailed, not to mention it serves the supernatural aspects well. Uh, the transformations and all that work nicely with this animation style. It looks cool. It's a cool little story, especially if you're into werewolves and whatnot. 
short as it is, there's some goodies in it for you if you're looking for werewolf fare. And that's it for this one. If you folks want to see more, stay tuned. I've got more dark corners to explore. Anyway, stay cool. Peace. <laughs>